Hello friends recall recapped here, today I am going to explain. A American horror thriller movie called, I spit on your grave so know the concept of the movie watch the full video and turn in the notification, and don't forget to like, and stay tuned. Starts while showing a girl, she is a nice novelist. Her name was Jennifer Hills. She used to write nice novels. For this, she wants a silent and peaceful place. It means there is peace everywhere. She will stay there alone and will write novels. That's why she shifts to another place. She rents an old house. Its owner was an old man and it was in a deserted area. She was going to her house but she forgets the way. On the way, she meets three boys. They were at a gas station and they start flirting with her while talking to her very sweetly. With it, they also tell her the way to the house. Like this, those boys also come to know the address of her house. Well, Jennifer reaches her house. She was liking the silence of her house. She sets her things and organizes everything there. Then she sits and starts writing a novel. She was enjoying the environment of the place. At night, she was talking to her friend. Meanwhile, she hears a voice. It was coming from a storeroom outside her house. She goes there to check but there was none. It was just the noise of the air. She again sits. But her drink falls on her clothes so she goes to the washroom to wash her clothes. There was someone recording her secretly. The next morning, she returns from jogging. On the way, she sees an old broken house. She gets shocked after seeing it. She comes out and returns to her house. Coming home, when she sees the sink it was damaged. Dirty water was coming from it. She immediately calls the plumber. The plumber repairs the sink and Jennifer thanks him. Then we see those three men one of them was named Stanley. He is the one who was recording Jennifer in the washroom. He also shows this recording to his other companions. He was a strange boy and the plumber was also there. The plumber went to Jennifer's house to repair the sink. He tells them Jennifer talked to me nicely. They think she lives alone and we will also go to her house and will get benefit from it. Now they start planning about it. They all have wicked minds. Going there, they throw a dead bird in front of her house. Jennifer comes out. She notices the noise is again coming from the storeroom. She goes towards it but till then those four boys have gone inside her house. Now Jennifer comes inside the house but she doesn't know about those boys. They ask Jennifer why you live alone here. Why did you come here? Jennifer tells them to write a novel. One of the boys named Johnny, he asks Jennifer to drink. He hurts her with a baseball bat. He asks her to show her teeth and tortures her. He asks her to remove her teeth. The other three were throwing the matchsticks on her. They were making fun of her. Jennifer immediately runs from there and moves to the forest. She meets a sheriff in the forest there was a boy with sheriff. Sheriff asks him to go I will go with Jennifer to her house to see what happened. But here the problem will increase more. Because the sheriff was also included with those boys. The sheriff goes with Jennifer to her house. Going home, he locks the door. He behaves strangely with Jennifer. With it, he calls someone. They were none other than those four people. The plumber behaves badly with Jennifer. He seduces her but even then Jennifer escapes from there. But she was caught again. This time, including Sheriff the other four, also do bad things with Jennifer. They all were bad men. Jennifer's condition gets worse. She runs outside. While running, she reaches a bridge she jumps in the water in front of all. They think maybe she is dead now. They start removing all the evidence. They set all the proof on fire from which they can be caught. They stand there for a long time. To search for her that she is dead or ran away. But they didn't see anything. They see and firm that she is dead and we can go from here. They leave from there. The sheriff goes to his house. There we see his wife and his daughter. How wicked man was he. He was shameless he didn't even think about his daughter. They search for Jennifer for many days. But they didn't get any news. They don't even get Jennifer's body. One day, the plumber tells them he has seen the soul of Jennifer. They come to know the recording they recorded at that time, someone has stolen it. They all become aggressive but now they will go through what they have done. Because you know tit for tat. When the night appears someone throws a dead bird towards their house, as they threw towards Jennifer's house. With it, the slipper of Jennifer. On another side, the sheriff finds a tape onto Stanley's name was written. The sheriff comes in anger. He thinks that Stanley has kept this. He goes and stabs the tape in Stanley's mouth. Stanley says I haven't done all this. 
You should be worried about the plumber. He has disappeared for many days maybe he has done this. He will be guilty that he has told us that Jennifer talked to him nicely. That's why it comes to our mind to visit Jennifer's house. Now we should search for the plumber and kill him. Sheriff says okay then find him. Before this, the sheriff also kills the innocent old man. Jennifer was living on rent in his house. How would he know that where Jennifer is? They have done this so this old man will not tell anybody that Jennifer is missing. Now the question is, they didn't find the plumber so where was he? He was in the house of Jennifer. Jennifer makes the plumber faint while putting the rope in his neck. On another side, Stanley's companion hears the sound of music. Now Stanley and his companion go to search for the place, they reach in that strange and broken house. Jennifer has seen it. Stanley and his companion go inside Stanley's friend goes inside the house from the door. And Stanley tries to go inside the house from the backyard. It was from inside the forest. Jennifer was ready in the forest to take revenge on all of them. Stanley sees Jennifer. He moves towards her. But his foot is stuck in a trap. He screams and calls his friends. His friends come and Jennifer attacks them with a baseball bat. She makes them faint. Jennifer has made three men faint now. She tied the friend of Stanley. She tied him to a bathtub and water was coming from behind. Jennifer has tied Stanley with a tree in the forest. She records him. She puts a dead rat in his mouth. The hook from which the fish is caught she puts it in his eyes and hangs it with the tree. That if he will do any movement his eyes will be cut. Meanwhile, Jennifer cuts the fish in pieces and places its organs on Stanley's face. So the eagles and crows will come and eat it from his face. And he will feel pain. Now the scene shifts to the friend of Stanley, he says to Jennifer forgive us, we know we have done a mistake. But Jennifer will not accept this time. She dips him into the bathtub. Then she pours acid into the water of the bathtub. She has hanged him on two wooden sticks she takes out a wooden stick the boy falls into the water. His body and face starts burning. On another side, the condition of Stanley also gets worse, because the crows were eating from his face. Due to this pain, he dies and she has got her revenge. Now Jennifer gets ready nicely. She again goes to the gas station, Johnny sees her there. He moves towards her but this time Jennifer was very brave. She attacks his head and ties him. At the same place where it happened to her. She does the same with him as it was about to be done with her. Jennifer takes out his all teeth. She also cuts his body parts with an electrical saw and forces him that you will eat them. Jennifer has to take revenge on plumber and sheriff. She has already caught the plumber, now she goes to sheriff's house. She kidnaps his daughter when Sheriff sits in his car Jennifer also sits in his car. She attacks and faints him. When Sheriff comes to his senses he sees he is tied on a wooden plank. A plumber is also in the room but faint. Now Jennifer ties a gun in plumber's hand that it will shoot a bullet automatically. With it, two people will be killed with one shoot. Jennifer was waiting while sitting outside. That when he will come to his senses and this will happen. As the plumber comes to his senses his hand moves and the bullet shoots, it shoots at the back of Sheriff. The same bullet also shoots at the plumber and he dies. While sitting outside, Jennifer was getting happy. That she has taken her revenge. With it, the movie ends here.